Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up your new iPhone and restore the data from iCloud Backup. In this video, we will show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to back up your current iPhone to iCloud, set up a new iPhone, and restore the data using iCloud Backup. So without further ado, let's get started. Before you start setting up your new iPhone, we recommend backing up your current iPhone to iCloud so you have the latest backup. To do that, you will need to head to settings on your current iPhone. Then, tap on your name as highlighted on the iPhone screen to the left. Next, navigate to iCloud. Here you can see and select data to be backed up to iCloud. Once you're happy with that, scroll back up and tap on iCloud Backup. Here we can see that iCloud Backup is turned on to backup automatically. However, to do a manual backup, tap Backup Now. This process can take some time, depending on how much information needs to be uploaded. When it's completed, you will see the date and time of the latest backup underneath the Backup Now option. Next, power on your new iPhone. Press and hold the side button on the right until the Apple logo appears, then release it. After a few seconds, you'll be greeted with the hello screen. To unlock iPhone, swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Next, choose your preferred language and the region where you want to use iPhone. Once you have chosen language and region, you'll be prompted with a quick start screen. From here, you can bring your current iPhone next to the new one and perform a direct transfer automatically. However, in this video we will show you how to restore data from an iCloud backup. Press Setup manually to continue with the restore. Next, you'll be informed on data and privacy and how Apple handle your information. Please read the information and press continue when ready. One of the most convenient features of iPhone is Face ID. With it, you can unlock your iPhone, use Apple Pay, view your saved passwords and more. To set up Face ID, we're going to tap continue or you can tap set up later to skip this step. You can also skip this part if you are not setting up Face ID. To correctly set up Face ID, position your face in the center of the camera frame and when ready, press Get Started. Just as shown in the animation, move your head slowly to show all the angles of your face. You can also use Face ID with a mask. iPhone can recognize unique features around the eye area to authenticate don't need to wear a mask while setting this up. Tap on Use Face ID with a mask to set up. Repeat the process again to finish. Face ID is now set up. Press continue to go to the next screen. Next up is to create a passcode. There are a number of different passcode types you can choose from. Custom alphanumeric code with letters, numbers and special characters are where you can create the most complicated passcodes. Six digit passcodes using only numbers. Or a four digit numeric passcode that resembles a pin code. Enter your passcode of choice and re-enter the passcode to verify it. The apps and data screen lists all the methods you can use to set up your iPhone. Restore from iCloud Backup will be the method we will use in this video. First, enter your Apple ID, then press Next on the top right corner. Enter your Apple ID password and press Next to continue. If 
two-factor authentication is enabled, you will receive a code to one of your trusted Apple devices. You can also tap didn't get a code to receive the code as a text message to your trusted phone number. You can identify which is the trusted phone number from the last two digits as highlighted on the left. Enter the code that was sent to your trusted device or number. Note that our screen on the video is slightly different for privacy reasons. Please read the terms and conditions, and once you're ready, press Agree to continue. After a few minutes, you'll be prompted to enter your iPhone passcode that you set up earlier in the video. That will enable you to have access to safe passwords and other sensitive data you store on iCloud. Now you should be able to choose from which backup to restore from. Tap on Show All Backups to see more restore options. Normally, the first option will show you the latest backup available. Once you have made your choice, tap on the backup you wish to restore from. Before the restore begins, you will be prompted to make this your new iPhone. You can choose to import the same apps, data, settings and connections such as your Apple Watch. If you're happy to do that, press continue or tap Customize settings to make changes. If you choose Customize, first it will inform you to keep your iPhone up to date and receive the latest software updates automatically. You can choose other options later in settings. Press continue when ready. Next, choose your preference on location services. We recommend enabling it if you intend to use Maps or Find My services. Apple Pay can be used to make secure payments in apps, on the web and in shops. Choose your preference on Apple Pay to continue. In this video, we are not setting up Apple Pay. You can automatically pair your Apple Watch to your new iPhone by pressing continue. Otherwise, tap set up later. Next, you will be asked whether you want to use Siri Voice Assistant. Press continue to set it up. Otherwise, press set up later in settings. Screen time gives you great insight on your iPhone usage. You can set limits for apps you want to manage. To enable, press continue. Otherwise, press set up later in settings. iPhone and App Analytics help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of usage data from your iPhone. This is completely up to you to decide. Choose your preference and continue. One of the last steps is to choose the appearance of your new iPhone. You can choose between light and dark themes. Choose your preference and press continue. Now you should see a restore loading screen. This process can take some time depending on the backup size. Once this process is complete, iPhone will restart automatically. After iPhone restarts, swipe up from the bottom to unlock the device if needed. You should see a screen telling you that the restore has been completed. Press continue to complete the final steps of the setup. Please read the terms and conditions and once you're ready, press agree to continue. Press continue to complete the final steps of the setup. You can help Apple improve Siri and dictation. Choose your preference to continue. And there we go. The restore has been completed. Once you swipe up, 
you should be able to have all the same apps, data and settings as on your previous iPhone. Hopefully this video tutorial was helpful and informative. On behalf of KRCS, we thank you for watching this. If there's anything else, do drop us an email, give us a call or pop into one of our stores.